guys welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're continuing the AFC Bournemouth career mode content and today we've got a couple of cracking ep uh, games in store for you in the championship first of all we've got a home game against Preston here North End and an away game against Barnsley we're going to use our away kit uh, and our home kit obviously uh, we're going to this Preston game with our first team We'll also go into this Barnsley game with our B team, I would have thought, because they won't have recovered their energy uh, fully yet. Uh, so, hopefully, today we can get a couple of wins. We are second in the league, as you can see there, but Watford are really, like, starting to pull ahead of everyone else. Uh, obviously, seven points is quite a big gap, um, especially after 12 games. I mean, mm, it's still catchable, but it's not over by any means. Like, we can still win the title and everything. Uh, but unfortunately we um do like I don't really know how to say it we do need to catch up and we need to kind of beat them in both of the games we play them against uh, against them uh, if we like lose twice against them I don't think we'll be able to catch them really they they, they look like doing some pretty decent stuff um yeah, they're, they're, they are kind of pulling ahead of the pack. As you can see, they're Nottingham Forest and the uh, Blackburn Rovers maybe kind of punching above their weight a little bit, especially Blackburn Rovers, as you can see as well. Millwall and Birmingham City also doing terrific, terrific, ter terrifically well. Sorry, guys, I can't really get my words out today. Um, as you can see, is there anyone doing performing under expectations? You could say Swansea performing under expectations, but still, 13 points after 12 games isn't too bad. You could also say Stoke are pretty, pretty doing pretty poor, to be honest with you. Uh, not really anyone else. Um, if Sheffield Wednesday started on minus six points like they did in real life, well, God, um, that, that they'd be like screwed. But you know, Middlesbrough doing pretty decent. Uh, as you can see, uh, Reading, Birmingham, Millwall, Blackburn, all, all punching above their weight, you'd think. Uh, but the top three, I'd say, are probably a decent top three. And obviously, on, on, on the way they've performed in in the season, like, so far. I, I, and Millwall, Blackburn and Birmingham, obviously, they, they do deserve to be where they are. It's not like they scrape past every opponent. Oh, I don't think they do, anyway. I'm going to see if I can put them in their green kit, because I'm pretty sure they have a green kit, and I love it. Uh, oh no, they don't have a green kit. Okay. We might go in this one and they could go in that one now. Nah, gotta be in our... Yeah, that that's better. Uh, I thought they had a green kit if I'm being on this with you, but clearly not. Uh, anyone else gone up in rating? No, they haven't, sadly. Unless Claude Maurice has gone up recently, but I don't think he has. Oh, Stacey, I think, has gone up to a 74. I think he started off at a 73. Uh, so last time out, I think, yeah, I think we did beat QPR. Um, and drew against Middlesbrough, or was that the episode before? I'm not really sure. I think this is episode 8 now. Well, first episode, I didn't film any games, and then we filmed a couple of games in the other episode, so... Yeah, after today, we'll have played 14 games. Therefore, uh, that'll have been seven episodes plus the starter one. So, yeah, this will be episode eight. So, it uh, should be doing pretty well. Um, I hope you're enjoying this career mode. Especially if you're a Bournemouth fan. I really do, uh, obviously, love you guys as well. If you're a Bournemouth fan, obviously, I am one myself. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this career mode. If you are, I hope you're indulging in it. Because uh, th there's not many people that are doing a Bournemouth career mode, so I just thought I'd like try and get some more support for my team out there. There is someone I watch uh, called Scolio87 or Scolo87. I'm not really sure how you pronounce the name, but he does a very good Bournemouth career mode. He gets through like six or seven games every episode, but he like cuts out the game, so he he does a lot more editing than I are. Do, and he probably produces a lot more quality content, which probably proves why he does have more subscribers and stuff. Oh, I don't know how, how how he's done that Johnson there. Cook, great tackle on Maguire. Oh, I think I've conceded a foul on the edge of the box. Uh, I did do a Preston career. I think he'd FIFA 19, or, or it might have actually been FIFA 20. Uh, and I did like using Johnson. Oh, Begovic! Outstanding save there, one-handed. Whoa, come on, Lerm, you've got to be doing better there. 
And we are under the cosh after seven minutes here. Yeah, I brought uh, Preston to the Premier League. Uh, we went up via the playoffs in the first season. And I do actually like playing in the playoff. It is pretty fun. Um, Story on the ball. Blackburn have leveled against Reading. That is kind of a, like, the, both them teams are in the playoffs, so that's kind of one of them's going to drop points, or both of them are going to drop points. So kind of a win-win for me when two, two teams near the top play each other. And Blackburn have scored there. It is 1-1 there after 13 minutes. Looks like a nice game. There. Uh, for you Leicester City fans watching my Leicester City career mode as well, um, I don't know when the next episode of that will be out. I am obviously trying to focus on this one. Well, it's not obvious, but I am enjoying this career mode more at, a sec at this moment. But Moll is on the ball. And luckily, we do manage to get it out of there. But I am enjoying this career mode a little bit more, I'm afraid, for you Leicester like fans watching that career mode. Uh, so I'll probably try and get a couple more of these episodes out than the other ones. But I will obviously do the Leicester one, continue with it, as King is played in behind. He's on a yellow card. Doesn't matter whether he's on a yellow card or not. When Joshua King is in front of goal, he will score. He's now on 12 goals this season. I think this is the 13th game. Yeah, it must be. What a finish there from Joshua King, bottom corner, and we do have the lead against Preston here on this fine Saturday. It must be three o'clock as well. Oh, I don't know really. Although, because 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 there's a few games going on at this specific time, um, it probably is three o'clock. I would have thought. Um, so yeah, and the West Ham career mode. I don't really know whether we're actually continuing that. Well, I don't know whether I'm continuing it with amusing jack war 2 my cousin because he i said i think he said he'd take a break from youtube because he's not really enjoying it he's not getting any subs or anything uh, i really don't obviously want him to do that because i definitely watch his videos and it is pretty quality content go check him out give him some support before he does end up quitting and stuff like that which is i don't really want to think about it because he deserves more than he gets unfortunately but that i guess that's the life of a youtuber if you're not if your videos are getting um like I don't really know what the word is uh, recommended by YouTube then oh it's an overstretched ball by Stanislas back into Claude Maurice straight out Rudd unfortunately um, yeah go show him some support before he does uh, quit um, or takes a break at least but or oh, Reading retake the lead against Blackburn it's 2-1 to them there as Joshua King oh it's just too far for him unfortunately Fish, Fish is a decent player there at right back um but I will continue the West Ham career mode I don't know how often I'll post the West Ham career mode I'm not gonna lie to you guys might be like a couple of times a week maybe like once or twice a week I'm not really sure um because obviously I'm concentrating on this one and the Leicester one. Oh, it's gone in off the post by Malt and Preston North End level. Unfortunately, seven minutes before half time here, uh, Preston North End a level. I do actually like Preston as a team. That that it, it is why I started a career mode with them. Uh, some of my family it does originate from Preston. Uh, grandparents, well, my grandpa in particular, he originated from. I say originated from. He came from uh, Preston. So. King gets tackled, unfortunately. Bayless Fisher. Story. Overstretched ball there. Ooh. Right. I get the ball going again with this Maurice. throw in. Maurice to Lerma to Brooks and then we do lose the ball unfortunately I don't know where Preston are in the league but I definitely know they're not a bad side and there's Johnson over the bar and that is half time um, definitely been an interesting affair I feel like mm, I mean both teams have done pretty well to be fair so I mm, can't really argue with it really you can see there, uh, anyone else up at the top? Yeah, I guess Blackburn losing. Watford winning 1-0 away at Huddersfield, which is disappointing. If we get a draw and they manage to win, they are obviously gaining and more points on us. They'll be nine points ahead of us if they do manage to get the win. And this scoreline says as it is. I don't know if you can see my manager on the touchline, but once again, obviously, he's in the uh, kit. 
so they, they really need to get that glitch fixed i know uh after some like updates and stuff it said like they'd fix the fix that glitch but i think they only fixed parts of it i don't know where king went down there really to be fair and then i don't know why i played it back there really um, I tried cutting infield with King, but apparently it went out wide again. Bart Hughes has the pace over Diego Rico, unfortunately. He has pretty banging pace there. Stanislas loses out to Hughes. And he tries a long ball over the top, and it's actually worked. Maguire. Oh. I said it nearly worked, but it did nearly work. We do manage to get the free kick. Claude Maurice just kicked it at Bart Hughes's hand. So making the substitution. I don't know what you guys think. If you want to leave down in the comment section below whether you think I should turn handballs on for penalties. Because in my career modes, I've had them turned Maurice. on. But uh, not for penalties. Because I end up conceding like a couple of penalties every game. I I'm genuinely being serious. In some career modes I've done on FIFA 21, I concede like two penalties every game. It's unbelievable. Because they can just kick it at your hand. But if you guys would feel like it's more realistic to have it turned on, then obviously I'll turn it on for you guys. As you can see there, away against Barnsley. Should get the win there. I'm kind of obviously hoping for the win here. Uh, I'm, I, I'm probably I'm going to try and get two episodes out on this Wednesday for you guys. Uh, of this Bournemouth career. Uh, none, none of the other careers. Uh, definitely, I don't think. But if I do get two episodes out today, they'll both be from this career mode. Brooks, his shot is blocked. Comes out to Stanislas. And it's seen. Plays it across the goal and Declan Rudd with no chance. Bournemouth 2, Preston North End 1. We retake the lead. All right, it was blocked. And then when it came to Stanislas, I thought, mm, probably a good chance that he's going to go in there. Rika Lem, obviously, if you haven't watched last episode, he was an absolute star. In one of the goals he set up against QPR absolutely banging cross and he was just playing really well out wide on the um, wing so I called it I called the uh, name of the episode Reclaim the Spanish Magician um, he, he really is very good oh he's been played through here bit of luck that he's come to him he's just come on as a sub and he's just scored oh ho 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 Brown, that's so unlucky. Oh, I feel really bad because that, that shouldn't happen. But, I mean, it would have come to him regardless. But he was just so lucky that it came like... It was like a three ball to him. As you can see, 69 minutes. We retake... Well, I say retake the lead now. We are now 3-1 up and our def the deficit they need to pull back is now 2. So we should get the win here. Reclaim. He's done so well again there. Oh, he's been played through again. Can he finish? Oh my gosh! The left footed finesse. I genuinely thought it was in. Oh, so unfortunate. Off the crossbar. I could, you can see why I called last episode Rodrigo, uh, not Rodrigo, Rita Lem, the Spanish magician. And. There's a good argument for saying, like, this game, he's been my man of the match, even though he's come on, like, a couple of minutes ago. Hitting the crossbar and scoring a goal and just playing positively as well. He's really been the, like, starter. And, I mean, he's probably been the difference between the one-goal deficit and the two-goal deficit, really. We could have literally been 4-1 up as well. Oh, what is that? Glenn Murray is taking a pen for Watford. Does he pick a spot? Or does he go for power? Oh, he's gone for power, but it's straight down the middle and the goalkeeper can't stop it. Ah, yeah, they put the pen away. I was just trying to be as quiet as I can just to let you guys hear, if you can, um, that Watford scored the pen. They are now 2-0 up, unfortunately, looking like they're going to grab the win there. Murray, 77 minutes, converts the pen. But if that had been a pen in Watford's favour... We would have genuinely, uh, it would have been level there. Take it away. You want we would have the ball. thought so. Stockley. Johnson through to Stockley. Nicely Stockley Park. I'm still having nightmares of VAR last year in, against Bournemouth. Um, oh, that is a foul. Uh, no card. Literally five minutes to go in this game. Um, we are going to get the win here, I'm assuming, unless something drastic happens in these final three minutes. 
Oh, he's whipped it in. Mepham did well to get it out. Claude Maurice into Reeklem. He's done well to play King through there. Ah, oh, Claude Maurice. Could have been a good pass, but unfortunately Hughes was there. Uh, literally one minute of added time still to go. Daniel Johnson. Ah, they've got a free kick. That should be the final whistle, you would think. It should end 3-1 here. Story launches it up. Billing! That's a well -struck pass. Come on, ref. Whistle. So the there it is. The whistle. One minute over time. We grabbed the 3-1 victory. Unlike in real life where Bournemouth unfortunately lost 3-2. Oh, that was where King got his yellow card. Foul on Maguire. This was the first goal King moments later after he picked up that card. He slotted it past Rudd for the opening goal. Hang on. No goal, Azmir Begovic. Oh, it'll show goal line technology because it... Oh, they're saying it was close. Oh, nowhere near. Literally nowhere near there. Oh, I don't need that. What am I doing? There we go. All right, so Rodrigo Riquelem came on as a sub and he got a 9.2 match rating. I should have shown the uh, crossbar, actually. Forgot to do that. I could have shown it in a better angle, really, but... Uh, I'm happy all round, really. Uh, I can't, can't really argue with it. I got, I got the um, three-one victory, so I'm not really complaining. Uh, Lewis Cook, eleven point nine mil. No, because he's still a good player. Uh, he's actually gone up another rating. Twenty-three years old. He can definitely do damage in this team. He's now seventy-six rating, so could have bring him on for Billing. I do like Billing as a player, actually. I'm not going to lie there. I think he's one year older, though. So this, obviously, the last game of today. Players have definitely not fully recovered. So we are going to be playing our B team, which Rika Lem actually starts in. So I'm happy to get Rika Lem back on the... Um, back in with a chance to... Get do some damage as you can see. Nottingham Forest must have lost in one of their games as they uh, are still on 27 points. Uh, and Birmingham City, I think they might have lost as well. And Blackburn lost. So all round, we we've managed to tighten our top two place. Uh, obviously, only by three points, but you know, we've still managed to tighten it. As you can see, only uh, only four players getting plus. Only no five because Begovic gets them as well. But a few, a few are getting actually minuses there. That's just because of sharpness, but you know. So we're going to get into this game. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. And hopefully we can come away with a 4-0 win. Which uh, they actually beat Barnsley 4-0 away from home at the weekend as well, Bournemouth. In scenarios. Oh, I'm, I'm going to score and then I'm going to... This is a goal. Oh my god! No, I, I'm sorry guys. I just have to score. It's in my programming. There we go, Solanke. Ooh, right. So, this is, uh, it'll probably say, like, Ivy, Ivy Lane or Court Lane or something. Forest Park Stadium, yes. But it is, um, what's the name of the stadium? I've seen it before. I've literally been, I've been about 100 metres away from it, probably. I was literally up the hill from it. I went to a swimming park in, um, Barnsley. Oh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but Lewis Cook has been played through early on here. Oh, this could be a breeze, this game. Four minutes on the clock, and it's Lewis Cook, who's literally just had an offer for him, who has scored early on here. I'm so... <laughs> oh, we're doing so well. So well. Oh, early on, literally our first attack, and it, it wasn't a hard uh, goal, really, in truth. Oh, it's really bugging me. What is Barnsley Stadium called? Oh, I definitely know it. It's like Eastwood or something. Oh, if you guys know, leave it down in the comment section below. But it'll probably pop up in my memory again. Oh, Solanke. Can't quite get the ball off Mowat there. Right. Williams. Williams. Not Brandon Williams from... Manya? I'm not really sure. Kelly. Oh, loses out to Bahare. 
Oh, uh, whoa, yes, tackle Simpson. Simpson's only like 66 rating, unfortunately. Uh, after this game, I will actually turn handballs in the penalty area. Oh, go on! That's dirty as that yellow card, at least. Oh, not even a card, Woodrow. When Josh King got a card. Krell hasn't really seen many, like, appearances and stuff in this career mode so far, really. Uh, him and Simpson haven't really done much. Kral, in particular, has not done much at all. And when he has done something, it's not been, like, the hardest things to do, either. Reclaim out wide. Reclaim, he's gonna he's gonna deliver a cross here. Oh, he's the cross king, is Reclaim. But, oh, Claude Maurice actually hit the post. I thought Claude Maurice had messed it up hard, big time. But he didn't, actually. He managed to hit the post. <laughs> can't believe that didn't go in. Oh, Rikalem, the crossing king. Blackburn have scored away at Norwich. I don't know whether long term, long term, that seems pretty good because I feel like Blackburn will drop off at the end of the season. But right now, Blackburn are actually doing better. So right now, that's actually bad. But, you know, long term, I feel like Norwich will probably still finish higher than them. So I guess it's good. Claude Maurice has been played in behind. What a chance for him to get his first goal for the... Oh, is it his first goal for the club? He gets it regardless whether it is or isn't. Here we go. Claude Maurice. It'll tell me in a minute. It's 26 minutes. Oh, it is his first goal as well. Claude Maurice. Happy with that one. Yeah, we really could... They don't deserve anything out of this game in the first 26 minutes they don't deserve the goal they could be down by three with that reclaim cross to be fair but i'll take two nil and you just don't miss one-on-ones at a championship level in particular uh goalkeepers have not much chance really just need to check something guys quickly yeah my timer is going don't you worry You're not gonna miss any content Yeah, you're not going to miss any content, guys. Well, Don't you worry. Bahare. Ooh, horrible shot there. Kral. Oh, my gosh, Kral. Oh, he just frustrates me. He, like, when he, when he has to do something, he can't seem to pull off the easiest things to do. He really hasn't settled into my squad here at Bournemouth yet. And Begovic with a save there. Luckily, uh, looks like we're going to pick up two wins in this episode. A 3-1 win against Preston. Um, and obviously, we're a winning 2-0 here. Claude Maurice did so well, and then he's just brought down. If that's not a card, I'll eat my head here. I mean, that's, that's literally impossible. Oh, come on, I have to eat my head now. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how I'm still talking if I'm just eating my head, so... You know, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, keep it in. Oh, he's gone off. That's J Williams. I thought he was B Williams, unless there's two. Oh, come on, Kelly. That's an overcooked ball there. Oh, he's really bugging me. It's definitely like East something or something. I swear down. Like, that's a foul. Reclaim is so good. He's winning free kicks left, right, and centre here. Reclaim. A goal has been scored at Vicarage Road. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cardiff City. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, Watford. Have conceded against Card if it's one all there. Lee Tomlin, who used to actually play for Bournemouth, looks like might be doing us a favour here. Raquel May out on the right. The cross king. No one's in the box, unfortunately. But the cross king delivers one to the back post where Claude Maurice is waiting. And I don't know how the keeper hasn't saved it, but Claude Maurice has his brace on the stroke of half time. We are winning 3 0 away at Barnsley here today. It's an utter thrashing, and we haven't even had half. We're not even at half time yet. Rick Helme just saw Claude Maurice running in, picked him out. It was a poor finish, really, in truth. The keeper should be doing better than that. At least it's a realistic dive. Uh, uh, at least it's not one of them FIFA dives. Look at this. this is, look at this for a realistic dive. At least it was a realistic dive. I've got to I've got to give that to FIFA there. Uh, we are 3-0 up. 
Claude Maurice with two goals. Uh, Raquel May with two assists. I think. Has he got two assists? I'm not sure. He's definitely got one, obviously. I'm not sure whether he has two just yet. Yeah, I'm just going to reset my timer, and that'll be the last time you hear it. But the fingers won't be pointed at the forwards today. It's been an absolute abysmal showing at the back. I, just yeah, I mean, they haven't done too well at the back, game. if you could hear the commentators there. Oh, I'm just looking at the stadium. What is it? It reminds me of something. Oh, I'd really... Is it gold something, like? Wood oak. No, it's definitely not wood East oak. East wood. Oh, it's really bugging me. I'm going to search up on the internet, like, right now, guys. Oh. East field or something. Uh, Barnes Lee stayed. Yum. Oakwell. Yeah, right. I knew it was oak. I definitely knew it was like oak and gold and stuff. Oakwell. There we go. You know now, guys. It's not going to bug me, and it's hopefully not going to bug you anymore either. Oh, Raquel May gets the ball out wide there. It's a little fake dribble. And the 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 uh, cross king. That is a great ball into the box from like because he was literally getting charged down by two defenders. I don't understand. Like his passing was like in the fifties, I think. And he's got like passing like bullet. I'm not even kidding you. Oh, it might just be because Barnsley are absolutely atrocious. But oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Lewis Cook. I was gonna sell him, and now he's just scored two in this game. No way has this gone in. Oh, you guys, you guys. No, that is abomin. That is an abomination of a keeper right there, Collins. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is pretty shocking goalkeeping. Oh, but what a hit, regardless. Lewis Cook, you deserve this, man. I turned down the uh, transfer offer for 11.9 mil from Colm. Who wants to go to Germany, let's be honest, when you're English? Like, seriously. Well, I mean, we're not in the Prem anymore, but, you know. Uh, at least they're in the Bundesliga. But, let's be honest, you've, you've, you've done well to stick with us. Thank, thank you, you stuck with us, actually. Uh, well, I turned it down, really, so you can't really go. But transfer talks have really boosted your morale. And you scored two goals. To oh my God! Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was on. <laughs> Nothing is going right for Barnsley here today. They shot it. <laughs> they shot it straight at his own player. Oh, nothing is going right for Barnsley here today. Atrocious goalkeeping. Uh, can't even like track down Reclem down the right. He's just putting in blinding crosses. Offside because their own player gets in the way. Now Rikalem's there. Now he's great at three balls, apparently. Oh, now the keepers just should have like got that in his hands. Unfortunately, we can't convert. Oh, nothing's going right. And he's going to give us so much confidence going into the Norwich game, which is going to be difficult. And that's going to be next episode, which I'm probably going to film tonight, actually. I really am enjoying this. Um, Chaplin. Good delivery into the box, actually. Surridge. Great ball to Solanke. What can he do with it? Oh, it's a bad touch. It's a bad first touch. Uh, we're literally 20 minutes away from the final whistle. Woodrow plays Ward through. Can they get one? No. Carl manages to get the ball out of there as well. Decent from him. Bahare. Ward. Simpson with the tackle. Oh, and then he fouls him. Begovic launches it up. Lewis Cook ain't going to win a header, is he? Oh. Let's go at Vicarage Road. No. No! Watford have scored! Watford have scored. It's 2-1. Samer with the goal. Watford are winning. Like, when we get a 4-0 win, Watford managed to scrape a win. That's so annoying. Like, Oh, come on, Cardiff. Score again for me. Whoa! That was like a fake rollout. Because I pressed the... Uh, Shoot button, then I press the rollout button, then I press the shoot button again. That was like, oh, I thought Solanke was going to run onto it. Actually. 
Unlucky Reclaim. You're not very tall, to be fair, but I... C yeah, it's the one thing I can't, like, help you with. I can't help you grow. I, I just can't help you grow in height. I really don't... I, there's nothing in training that allows me to do that. I, c I can make your heading accuracy better. I can make your jumping better. But I can't grow your height, unfortunately. But when you're, like, a wise player, you don't really want height. You'd rather have pace. Oh, no, look, unlucky. There, Reclaim. If you guys, like... I'm going to start doing Player of the Month again, like... Is there any doubt? Leave it. Leave, leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. But for me, I think I might pick this regardless of the suggestions. I genuinely believe Reclaim for... Oh, he's now going to come off for David Brooks. But I, I genuinely believe Rika Lem for uh, Player of the Month. I, d I don't know what you guys think. Le le leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. But if you guys agree with me and think Rika Lem deserves Player of the Month, then, then definitely well, drop me a note down in there. Oh, Chaplin! Straight up, Begovic. Oh, it's absolutely... A, it's just oh, poor, really, from them. Today, today. today. Really just nothing's going their way. Oh, Lewis Cook. Oh, I really want Lewis Cook to get his hat trick. Oh, Claude Maurice. They're both on a brace, aren't they? But we're literally into added time, and it looks like neither of them are going to be able to do that. Come on, push up. Get one of them a hat trick. Go on, Kral. Plays it to Gosling. Oh, go on. Oh, he's going to play Surridge through. Oh, it's the end of the game when we were on the attack. That's so annoying. And their, their fans are not happy. You, you can hear the booze in the background. Oakwell is not happy. Apart from the away fans who... And we do replicate the um, real-life scoreline, actually. The first goal from Lewis Cook here. Here we go. This was the first goal. It's probably the... I've got to say, it's probably the like easiest one to score of them all. Oh, no. Maybe this Claude Maurice one was the easiest one to score of them all. This made it 2 Yeah, that's probably the easiest one. Then the uh, Alec... Alexis Claude Maurice one. This was the uh, probably the second hardest one. I mean, it, it wasn't the greatest finish by Claude Maurice there. Here we go once again. The, the keeper should have done better. I'm not going to lie, Collins. Uh, it was just kind of a dink shot, really. And Claude, Maurice, look, you can see him celebrating before it's even crossed the line. I'm not even joking, you. Uh, but this one, 52 minutes on the clock. There, I thought we'd actually lose it there, to be fair. Oh, yes. I thought he was either going over the bar or the keeper was going to easily save it. But clearly not. Surridge with the assist there, actually. The connection that Lewis Cook got on that. To put it... It wasn't even top corner. It was, like, middle but slightly to the right. Um, yeah, so that's the end of that game. They actually have more shots than us. As you can see, Watford do get the 2-1 win, unfortunately. Blackburn win away at Norwich. So, um, long term, that's probably good. As we do play Norwich next. But Blackburn up to third. Uh, we, we're trying to keep the pressure on Watford by continuing the winning. But Watford, 14 games, 40 points they've got. That's what they've got. Uh, so next, uh, as you can see, the top scorers there... I'm going to show you guys the top scorers quickly before I end off the episode. Joshua King, 12 goals. Jed Wallace, 9 goals. Sam Vokes, 8. And there's a bunch of people on 7, including David Brooks. So that's a good one. Uh, next episode, guys, we have got Norwich, which is going to be a very tough tough game there. Uh, and then we end off uh, October with a home game against Reading. Then we got... Oh, then we got Watford, the episode after, as well as Sheffield Wednesday. So, uh, I mean... We've got, we've got fairly balanced fixtures. There's not really, there's not really a month I look at and say that's an easy month or that's a very difficult month. I mean, you could say this one's probably easy, the easiest one March here. Sheffield Wednesday, QPR, Wickham, Middlesbrough, and Derby. You probably could say that's pretty easy, as well as here Blackburn, uh, Huddersfield, Rotherham, and Coventry as well. I guess they're pretty easy. Uh, and then Swansea and Birmingham. I guess you could say there semi-difficult but you know i mean it's quite a it's quite a relaxed run of like games i guess it's quite spread out so 
Uh, that is where we're going to end off the episode. As you can see there, Nottingham Forest played Nottingham Forest, Millwall and Birmingham. Probably a few more teams have actually played one less game. So I'm just going to see where they get up to. I'm going to simulate to the Norwich game. Mm, come on then, come on then. Oh. Right, they've got to be there now, surely. Yeah, they have. Nottingham Forest did win. They're up to, uh, they've gone above... Blackburn now, as well as Birmingham. Uh, yeah, they're three points behind us, though. Uh, Watford, as you can see, still on 40 points. So that's where we're going to end the episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, go down below, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button as well. Uh, turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video from me. But until next time, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.